I guess we're just executing as an offense, and um, you know those are situations that are the lowest percentage uh, conversion rates, and uh, somehow we were able to convert on all of them, most of them. What were just your expectations as a first-time starter? You know, what, what did you, how did you expect to play in, in a hostile environment your first time? Out? Yeah, I didn't think about um, all the hype of my first first start and all that. I was kind of just worried about playing and. Um, you know, I knew what I could do, and I was confident with the, the prep we did the week uh, before in the film room, and I was just excited to go play. Can you confirm that you're starting against Michigan now? <laughs> uh, I'm not going to say anything about that. <laughs> <laughs> when you think of Michigan, what do you think of? Um, I just think of the, the history that they've had, and um, they got a historic football program, and obviously their stadium is, uh, gets, a lot of, gets a lot of attention. Alex, you mentioned third down. Have you looked at Michigan's third down defensive numbers so far? How good they have been stopping teams. No, I don't don't look too much at the numbers. Just more what they're what they're doing. And um, throughout the week, we're going to get we're going to get a deeper look at it and uh, start to feel better about it. Have you done much look at what they do in third down yet on your own? What have, what have you seen? Uh, yesterday, I watched watched a little bit. Um, watched a couple games of them playing, and uh, today's going to be a big day for us. The to get more prepped and uh, see what they're doing. Do they like to put pressure on the quarterback in terms of blitzes or not? Um, I mean, we haven't. Okay. It's more just a base uh, overview of what they're running, so I couldn't tell you exactly what they're doing yet, but um, after today we should feel pretty good about it. What was it about Coach Chris that you liked during the recruiting process? I just kind of connected with him as a person, to be honest. He was kind of a laid-back guy, and... Um, he didn't hype anything up, or he didn't try to try to sell anything. He kind of just told you how it was, and if you liked it, you liked it, and I, I bought it. When you are looking at coaches, do you how much do you dig into their background, I mean, the vetting process? I guess do you look at what he's done with other quarterbacks? Did you do that? Uh, I think that has that has something to do with it, but um, it was more the offense that I saw and I felt comfortable playing with, and um, you know that was that was pretty much it. Was it a difficult decision to transfer, or was it fairly easy? Um, as in from compared to him. yeah, it was it was probably a high pressure situation. I had I delayed my enrollment in Pitt a couple of weeks, and I had I think like three days to I had to go to Wisconsin or start at Pitt before I couldn't enroll early. But um, once I came out here, I pretty much took a one way flight. I love the school, and I moved in the next morning, so it wasn't too tough. <laughs> wow. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you didn't get to visit the football facility, so you just. <coughs> Like yeah, it was. I came out on a Sunday, and it was a dead period with the coaches, and I kind of just went on an academic tour and saw everything, and uh, trusted that the the football was going to be all right. It was kind of just seeing the campus, and I called coach that night and told him I was going to come here, and then Monday morning I moved in. I think it's a big thing for a quarterback, especially just to um, to spend a lot of time in the film room. That's the that's the biggest place where you make your improvements besides on the field. So you got to put a lot of importance into that. There's such a focus of being a quarterback at Wisconsin really anywhere else. Do you enjoy all of it, like this film, I mean, the whole bit? It hasn't been tough to adjust to it? To it? Um, it hasn't been, been too tough to adjust, but the part that I like and the part that's why I'm here is just playing football. That's what I've liked since I was young, and um, I love going out and practicing every day. Nothing's, nothing's boring or um, it's, it's never a drag for me. I just like going out and playing. Can you go anywhere without being recognized now? Yep. I <laughs> I don't know. People don't usually say anything. I don't know if they know me and don't say anything, but it's fine. It's just like it was before. I go with my buddies and go to restaurants and everything. It's all good. The last couple of weeks, you've made some important throws rolling to your right. The one to Penniston for the touchdown, and then you, know, you hit Fumagalli in the flat last mm -hmm. week on third. Right, have you always been comfortable being able to deliver the ball accurately, throwing against your body that way? I think I. you kind of have to as a lefty going in since I was young, playing in camps and just playing everything's designed for righties, so you don't want to be the guy that says, I got to flip the drill so I can do this. You got to, you got to just do it yourself, kind of. And since I've been, since I was young, you kind of, you kind of had to. You thrown into it, and obviously here, um, we're going both ways, doing both things. But um, there's a lot of times I'm rolling out to the right, and I feel comfortable with it. Alex, what did the film tell you when you watched on Saturday? Good and yeah, it was it was good to see our guys, and I felt I felt good with the way we played. And then also there was a lot of room to improve um, 
for me, there's a lot of a lot of throws I could have could have done better, and um, just for the just for the whole offense, that first and second.